Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to look at why motors are rated in watts instead of voltage ampere. Now, in order to understand this, we need to have a look at the equations for voltage ampere and watts. Voltage ampere equals voltage multiplied by amps. Kilo voltage ampere equals voltage multiplied by amps divided by a thousand. Now let's have a look at how we calculate watts. Watts equals voltage ampere multiplied by the power factor. If we're looking at kilowatts, then this is voltage ampere multiplied by the power factor divided by a thousand. Now the motor is the final load within the electrical system. The motor converts electrical power into mechanical power. The power factor can be thought of as the relationship between the apparent power and the real power. If the apparent power available equals the real power achieved, then we have a power factor of 1. Unfortunately, there are always some losses within the system. Because the motor is the final load, we know the power factor and we can apply this to the equation in order to get watts. However, for other machinery items that are not part of the end load, the power factor is often not known. If the power factor is not known, then it's not possible to rate the equipment in watts. In order to get around this problem, manufacturers will rate equipment such as transformers and generators in voltage ampere. Voltage ampere is a measurement of the apparent power, not the real power. When we apply a load to the electrical system such as a motor, then we will know what the real power achieved is. If we know the real power, then we can calculate the power factor, which will ultimately allow us to rate the motor in watts. And that is the reason why some equipment such as motors are rated in watts, and other equipment such as transformers and generators are rated in voltage ampere. And if you want to learn more about electrical engineering, then check out the link in the video description area. And if you click on that link, you'll be taken to a electrical engineering course and you can purchase this course for a special discount price. If you like this video, then please do like it or share it on social media. It really does help us out. Thanks very much for your time.